To make origami, you almost always have to start with a square piece of paper. You can use any paper you can find around the house. Newspaper, magazine paper, a scrap piece of paper, a post-it note is perfect for making origami, or you can use your painted paper that you might have made with me if you watched the first video that I posted about making homemade paint. Anyway, most pieces of paper come in a rectangle shape, right? And we need a square. So I'm gonna teach you a little trick to turning your rectangle into a perfect square. Turn the paper vertically up and down. You are going to fold the paper diagonally to make the bottom edge match the side edge. I always like to match my edges, move it around if I need to, and only when I'm ready to press the paper down, I use my palm and crease the fold. Next thing to do is to cut or tear off the part of the paper that's sticking out, that rectangle shape, right there. you don't have any scissors around, then like I said before, you can also tear off that rectangle. Do the exact same thing like before with a diagonal fold, but instead of cutting the paper with scissors, you are going to fold on the line where the paper starts to stick out. Fold on the line where you would have cut if you had scissors. Fold it back and forth lots of times and crease the paper extra hard with your fingernail. The more you fold and crease it back and forth, the easier it's gonna be to tear. When the fold is really, really creased, lay the paper flat on the table and place a hand on either side of the fold and gently start to tear apart the paper starting from the top. Now that you have a square of paper, you're ready to start your origami heart. So that you can concentrate, I'm not gonna be saying the directions. I'm just gonna be quiet and let you watch. You can follow along with the video and fold when I fold, pausing the video whenever you need to, rewinding it if you need to see something again, or you can watch it all the way through and then try it on your own or with the video a second time. Be patient with yourself and enjoy.